Morning. Good morning. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. Um, it's another gloriously sunny Saturday morning. The group are heading out for a spin, um, and today they're actually coming past my house. So a couple of us have just met at the end of the lane, rather than cycling four miles that way to come back four miles this way. So, and momentous day. Shorts are on. No more leg warmers. No more bib tights. For now, anyway. Okay. I think we're doing about 30-ish miles again this morning, so is that 50k? Um, but uh, yeah, just a hopefully a gentle one this morning. My knee is mm, kind of so-so, um, so hopefully I don't do too much damage. But uh, yeah, 30 miles and then home. And I've got something to show you. I've got another bike. But it's not what you think. More on that later. Okay, right done. Time to uh, stretch out this knee, foam roll, grab a shower, some food, and then I will talk to you about the, uh, the latest bike that I've got. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Why on earth, when Connor already has three bikes, has he got another bike? What could he possibly need another bike for? Um, my wife thinks the same, to be honest. Uh, well, you know, N plus one and all that. I am only joking. I haven't bought another bike. I've been gifted another bike. A friend of my dad's was getting rid of a whole load of old bikes that he had. And there was one bike in particular that my dad spotted and thought I might be interested in. So he got that from his friend and uh, has given it to me. So let's have a look at it. So this is the bike in question. Now, as far as I can tell, it is just a generic bike from the 80s or 90s which has been imported into the UK and rebadged and my plan is to hopefully restore it. I'm pretty sure it's a steel frame. Um, I've tested it out by uh, popping a magnet on it and the magnet sticks to the frame but doesn't stick to the bars so I think it's a steel frame and steel fork but with aluminium bars. It has a single chain ring at the front and is a uh, five speed cassette at the rear and it has down tube shifters. The rims on it have definitely seen better days. Overall though, the bike is not in terrible condition. The shifters are working. It changes gear, no problem. So really, I think the bike just needs stripped down, a good clean, and then rebuilt and put together again. The saddle though is solid plastic, so I'm probably gonna replace that with a Brooks saddle or something like that. So the frame is an O'Brien Whirlwind. Like I say, I think it's just a generic import to the UK which has been rebadged. So it's not worth a lot of money. Um, I reckon only 20 or 30 quid. But it could be a good project to try and restore it and get it into decent condition. So my plan is to strip the bike down and get all the bits and pieces off it, give them a really good clean. Uh, I'm probably going to repaint the frame. So uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to sand the frame myself or if I'm going to take it somewhere and get it sandblasted um, to get the existing paint that's on it stripped off and get it primed and then um, I'll come up with a colour scheme and maybe repaint it myself. Uh, like I say, give all the components a really good clean, degrease, scrub. Might need to get myself an ultrasonic cleaner for that. I may need to replace some parts, probably the bottom bracket I would imagine needs replaced. I will replace the saddle, I will replace the, obviously the gear cables, the brake cables um, and all that kind of stuff. 
and uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, uh, we'll see how it turns out. If any of the rest of you have restored an old bicycle, um, please let me know. Any tips, any tricks, um, leave me a comment down below. Any other YouTube channels I should watch about restoring an old bicycle? Again, please let me know. But yeah, could be a cool project. Don't know if the bike I will actually use it. it doesn't probably fit me, but just something something else for me to to do because I don't have enough hobbies and, and interests at the minute as it is. Well, thanks for watching another video. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have, please hit like, um, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.